Hey everyone, Cyan here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, join the family. I love seeing comments, so you never know who's going to be blessed by your comment. So share, even if you don't agree with me, I love just knowing other people's opinion and I don't take it personal. I don't take it as an offense. So leave your comments, share your opinion and give me a thumbs up if you like the video, the content. Today I'm here to encourage somebody, have initiative, create something that belongs to you. Come up with an idea that you have not seen anywhere else. Even if you think that idea is not great, at least come up with it. It's yours. Try to invent something that you have not seen anywhere else. That you haven't copied. It's good to get inspiration from someone. And if you do, don't forget to give them the credit. There is so much power in coming up with your own creation. Don't try to cut corners. Cutting corners can result in consequences, things that you cannot fix later. You see somebody do something, you want to achieve what they did exactly. You cut corners and you do it, but you don't know what the person paid, the price they paid to achieve what they achieved. So be careful because cutting corners will make you pay some prices to get to the place where the person got to. But then you haven't been through their path, through their process. Every person, every successful person has paid a price in time and energy. I don't believe in overnight success. Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. If you commit in the hands of the Lord everything you do, He will take care of your plans and He will give you success. You won't have to go through shortcuts or cut corners. When I say cut corners, I mean doing some things that are maybe not legal, ethical, to, just to obtain something that you're not supposed to obtain. Proverbs 2 verse 6 says, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. This verse is telling us that if you don't have knowledge, if you don't have understanding, if you don't have wisdom, it comes from the Lord. You can ask the Lord and the Lord will give you. So I strongly believe that anybody can come up with creative ideas on their own. Have this initiative. Be creative. Make something happen. Be the author, the owner of something. Write a book. Do something. You can do it and you can just ask God. In this verse, you can see that if you ask God's guidance, you will be able to have initiatives, do something new and be proud of yourself. And maybe other people can see you as an inspiration and try to do something like you. You don't have to steal somebody's idea or copy it and pretend that it is yours. Exodus 31 verse 3 says i have filled him with the spirit of god with wisdom with understanding with knowledge and with all kinds of skills believe that god has filled you with knowledge wisdom understanding skills all kinds of skills with his spirit the spirit of god is in you so you are creative. Believe in yourself and trust in God that you can do it and come up with something. If you follow these instructions, if you believe in these verses, you will come up with something and you can leave in the comment something. Make a commitment. Let me know what you're going to create, something that you're going to come up with yourself and 
Let this be an accountability action that you make. Leave that comment here so that in one year or six months, you come back and confirm that you've created something. You believed and you created something because the Spirit of God guided you. That's all I wanted to share. I hope somebody is blessed and I'll see you next time. Until then, 